decided to go to emergency shelters to get away from Matthew. And those shelters are starting to close now and people are heading home. Rod Carter is live in Auburndale. He's at Tenorock High School, one of those Red Cross shelters. Hi, Rod. Yeah. Hey, good evening. Uh, good afternoon, I should say, guys. You know, Tenorock is one of those places that opened up here in Polk County as people tried to seek shelter from Hurricane Matthew. Again, as you said, since the worst of the storm has pretty much passed over this area, a lot of those shelters are beginning to close down. We caught up with a few of those people as they were getting ready to leave today. Uh, people started leaving late this morning. About 144 people were told all total took advantage of the shelters that opened up across Polk County. Of course, one of the biggest concerns, one of the biggest fears for many of these folks, the strong winds and, of course, power outages. And overall, Polk County did see some of just that. Sporadic power outages across the county. A few trees were down as well. The very reason one woman I caught up with told me she came here. She'd rather be safe than sorry. Because we were in Polk City mm -hmm. and it was, they were threatening with, you know, heavy winds and stuff and the power going out. So we, we thought it was better to go to a shelter than take the chance. Yeah, I'm glad you did. Yes, I really am. And Kimberly also told me that's the woman you just heard from. The other reason why she definitely wanted to come to a shelter. A couple decades ago, she was caught in Hurricane Andrew, and she certainly does not want to relive anything like that again. So that's why she decided to make her way here to the shelter again. All of them starting to close down, and people are sporadically starting to get back home. Stacey. And truly, it is a case of better safe than sorry. I mean, people might look at it and say, we could have ridden it out, but you'd never want to do that. We got very lucky this yeah. time. Right? And I totally got Absolutely. her. I don't I lived through Hurricane Andrew, so I know what that was like down in South Florida. Uh, definitely, once you live through something like that, you don't take chances. No. Rod Thanks, Carter Rod. reporting live. Thanks, Rod. And coming